I'm David Toman, and I'm the author of NootropicsExpert.com. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about vinpocetine as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Vinpocetine is a unique nootropic supplement derived from the lesser periwinkle plant, or vinca minor. It's a flowering plant that's native to Central and Southern Europe and Turkey, and vinca minor is also grown as ground cover in the United States. Now, since it was first released in 1978, vinpocetine has earned a well-deserved reputation with the nootropics community for optimizing cognitive health, primarily by boosting cerebral blood flow. But to understand how and why vinpocetine boost cognition and protects your brain, we need to dive into how blood flows in your brain. Now, an optimized adult brain gets about one-seventh of your heart's output of blood every minute. Your brain needs this blood flow for a constant supply of glucose, oxygen, and other nutrients to keep it functioning properly. And unlike other organs and muscles in your body, your brain cannot stand an interruption in this steady flow of blood. Now, two carotid arteries in the sides of your neck send blood to the front and top of your brain. Arteries in your vertebrae or in your spine join with these carotid arteries at the base of your brain to form the circle of Willis. The circle of Willis is critical because it's the only area in your body where four major blood vessels join up together allowing blood to be sent to where it's needed at all times, even if one of the major blood vessels becomes blocked. Now, we'll take a look at how things go bad a little bit later on in this video, but the good news is that vinpocetine can have a profound effect on maintaining and repairing your brain's blood vessels and cerebral blood following through the circle of Willis and to individual brain cells. Vinpocetine not only helps increase cerebral blood flow, it also works as a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory in your brain. Well, first, vinpocetine boosts cerebral circulation. Your brain only accounts for about 2% of your body weight, but it consumes about 20% of the oxygen and nutrients circulating in your blood. And this is why strong, healthy cerebral blood flow is so critical to your brain health and cognitive performance. Vinpocetine inhibits an enzyme called PDE1 while reducing calcium levels in brain cells. When both of these are elevated, the smooth muscle in blood vessels contract, narrowing the diameter of blood vessels and restricting blood flow to that area of the brain. Now, you may be familiar with PDE5 inhibitors like Viagra, which work to dilate blood vessels and maintain healthy blood flow to the penis. Vinpocetine has a similar mechanism of action in your brain. In two separate clinical studies, chronic ischemic post-stroke patients were treated with either a single infusion or a daily infusion of vinpocetine for two weeks. Vinpocetine increased cerebral glucose uptake and glucose metabolism in both, in both stroke region of the patient's brains as well as in the intact brain tissue. Patients in the two-week long treatment also showed increased cerebral blood flow, especially in the thalamus, basal ganglia, and the visual cortex regions of the brain. And the second way is vinpocetine is an anti-inflammatory. Vinpocetine prevents the upregulation of, now this is going to get a little bit technical here, nuclear factor, kappa light, chain enhanced of activated B cells, or NFKB, by tumor necrosis factor alpha, or TNFA. Now, I know that this sounds a little bit complicated, but it's got serious implications in the development of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. Here's how it works. NFKB is a protein complex that controls the transcription of DNA. Cytokine production, which is a signaling protein, and cell survival. 
TNFA is a signaling protein, or a cytokine, involved in inflammation produced by neurons. Vinpocetine inhibits this action. Vinpocetine also reduces the TNFA-induced expression of microRNA of pro-inflammatory molecules such as interleukin-1 beta, MCP1, and vascular cell adhesion molecule 1, or VCAM1. Now, researchers have found that vinpocetine prevents this inflammatory response at the cellular nucleus level. And this mechanism of action is independent of vinpocetine's action on PDE1. Now, this is a very big deal because TNFA contributes to the neuronal cell death in Parkinson's disease. And there is growing evidence that the accumulation of amyloid B protein levels to, to an upregulation of interleukins and TNFA that contributes to neurodegeneration leading to Alzheimer's disease. So scientists are now working on trying to determine if vinpocetine can reduce this inflammation in the brain and help protect the brain from developing Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. Poor cerebral blood flow, inflammation, and free radicals or oxidation can damage your brain. And one of the ways this manifests is as memory loss. And if left unchecked, it can develop into serious neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. So cognitive function declines, inflammation kills brain cells from the inside, free radicals destroy neurons and synapses, and anxiety, depression, and moodiness increase, and concentration and memory decline. Poor cerebral circulation causes a domino effect in the brain affecting many critical processes. Memory, cognition, and decision-making all suffer as a result. Vinpocetine is one of the most researched nootropics on the planet. It was introduced to clinical practice in Hungary in 1978 for the treatment of cerebrovascular or brain blood flow disorders and related symptoms. Since then, vinpocetine has become a reference compound in pharmacological research of cognitive deficits caused by hypoxia, which is oxygen deficiency, ischemia, which is inadequate blood supply, and research into cyclic nucleotides, including CAMP and CGMP. Vinpocetine's mechanism of action in the brain includes increasing brain blood circulation and oxygen utilization, increased tolerance for hypoxia and ischemia, anticonvulsant activity, inhibiting the PDE1 enzyme, increasing the pliability of red blood cells, and inhibiting the aggregation of platelets, which cause blood clots. Hundreds of studies in animals and humans have shown vinpocetine can repair and reverse the effects of damage caused by strokes. Vinpocetine can prevent the inflammation and damage by free radicals that can lead to neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And vinpocetine can improve glucose and oxygen supply to critical brain cells through increased blood flow, improving cognition, concentration, mental agility, anxiety, depression, and memory. You should be able to feel the effects of vinpocetine within an hour of taking it. Neurohackers report that vinpocetine reduces brain fog and mental fatigue, and most experience improved focus, memory, and even an improved sense of well-being. Vinpocetine's effect on short, working, and long-term memory can be profound. Remembering names, numbers, and life events becomes easier. At work or in school, vinpocetine can assist in learning and helping your brain commit it to memory. You should feel a significant difference in your ability to focus at work. And like any nootropic, vinpocetine is not going to turn back the plot, clock 30 or 40 years, but it will help to keep your brain functioning more smoothly. 
Now, like I mentioned earlier, we've got a lot of research since 1978 on finpocetine from around the world. If you want to see more details and more of this clinical research, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for finpocetine or click on the link below this video. I've got another study on how vinpocetine improves memory. I've got one on how vinpocetine repairs long-term potentiation. And I've got another study on how vinpocetine enhances cognitive performance. So check out the, main, uh, the, the original transcript of this video on Nootropics Expert for vinpocetine to see these studies. Vinpocetine is a reputation among neurohackers and in clinical trials for safety at recommended doses. The recommended dosage for vinpocetine is 10 milligrams up to three times per day. Vinpocetine seems to be more effective when taken with a meal or a high quality fat like coconut or olive oil. You can safely dose up to 60 milligrams of vinpocetine per day total. But clinical trials and user experience, including my own, nearly always show that higher doses provide no added benefit. Vinpocetine is well tolerated and safe for use by most people. But if you're particularly sensitive to supplements and drugs, try a starting dose of only 5 milligrams of vinpocetine and see how your body reacts. If you're dealing with low blood pressure, you should avoid using vinpocetine. The nootropic aspects affects blood flow not only in your brain but throughout your entire system. If you take vinpocetine and you feel lightheaded or dizzy, it could be a sign that your blood pressure is too low. Vinpocetine affects clotting factors in your blood and may decrease red blood cell platelet aggregation. So if you're using blood thinners or high doses of aspirin, you should avoid vinpocetine. And stop taking vinpocetine at least two weeks before surgery because of its effects on blood thinning and flow. Vinpocetine usually comes in 5, 10, or 20 milligram tablets or capsules. Vinpocetine is available as an over-the-counter supplement in the United States and Canada Many countries around the world require a prescription to purchase vinpocetine. And some of the better pre-made nootropic stacks uh, include vinpocetine in their formula. So my nootropics expert recommendation for vinpocetine is 10 milligrams three, up to three times a day. And that's my report on vin vinpocetine. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropics expert and search for vinpocetine or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions, or you want to share your experience using vinpocetine, please use the comment section at the bottom of the review over on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.